Today we're going to be looking at how to batch process, optimize and watermark all of your photos at once automatically for Facebook and that too at a click of a button. So first off we're going to be looking at what is the best resolution for us to export in so that Facebook shows our image in the highest possible quality and then we're going to create an action for the same. After that we're going to create an action on adding watermark to our photos. Now, this is going to be different for portrait and landscape orientations. We're going to learn conditional actions so that Photoshop automatically analyzes what is the orientation of your photo and adds that watermark automatically. You don't have to worry about a thing. And after that, we're going to learn how to process that in all of your images so that you don't have to open images one by one and then apply that action to every image. All you need to do, just select the folder and Photoshop will do the rest. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Google, not in Photoshop by the way. So first off, we're going to search what is going to be the best resolution for us. Now, there are a ton of websites which give you the dimension, but the most trustable website is Facebook itself or whatever platform you're using. If you're using Instagram, search for dimensions inside of Instagram. Okay. So we're going to search, let's type Facebook help. Okay. Let's open up Facebook's official help center. Okay. Because these resolutions change with time again and again. So you need to keep a check. Right now, I can tell you it's 2048 pixels wide. That's the best resolution in which Facebook shows your image in the highest possible quality. But since it keeps changing, we're going to keep a check. So first off, let's search something. Photos, say quality. Or you can also type dimensions. There we go. And okay. There's an article on how can I make sure that my photos display in the highest possible quality. Let's click that and let's figure out. Okay, so there we go. Resize your photo to one of the following supported sizes for the highest possible quality. So for regular photos, today we're going to be talking about posts, not covers or profile pictures. So regular photos should be 720p, 960p or 2048 pixels wide. Now, which means height can be anything. Height can be anything, but the width has to be 2048 for the highest possible quality. Now let's close it and let's switch to Photoshop. So here we are finally in Photoshop and first of all we need to create an action to resize our image to 2048 pixels wide. Okay so there we go we have our image open and first of all go to Windows and then Actions. Now let's create a different set saying Facebook. So click on this one and let's name it Facebook. Okay there we go. And inside of that, let's create all the required actions. So click on this button to create a new action. Make sure the set is Facebook and name it resize, resize. And you can also add 2048 to it if you want. And you can also color code it. So let's color code it red and record. Now it's recording. So all you need to do to resize it, it's really simple. Go to image and then image size and make sure this is checked. This hyperlink, this icon is checked. It maintains the aspect ratio. And then you choose the width to 2048. Okay. And resample automatic. You want it to be automatic because sometimes the images can be a little smaller. At that time when it enlarges it, if it applies the sharper profile, it will lose quality. So you don't want that to happen, right? So make sure it's left to automatic and click OK. So it's just one image size and then stop the action. It will do the rest. Now let's try it on another image. Okay, let's try it on this one. Let's try the resize action. Click on it and let's play. It works. Fine. Now let's test the image size. Go to image, image size. Have a look. 2048. Fine. Click OK. That's fine. Let's cancel it. Now let's create an action to add a watermark. Now before you add a watermark, here's what I suggest you to do. Wherever your watermark is, make sure it's on one folder and do not touch it. If you touch it, the actions will not work. Okay, do not rename it, do not do anything to it. So for this example, let's just go to the desktop. Let's just close it. Okay, there we go. And I have this watermark. Create a folder, okay, and name the folder watermark do not touch literally type that and put the watermark inside of that and you can put the folder anywhere in ef whatever folder you want so for this example for this demonstration i'm using the desktop okay now what you need to do open up photoshop again 
and then create a new action and name it watermark okay and set Facebook everything is fine you can color code it if you want I'm not gonna color code it and record now all you need to do go to file place embedded okay we can choose the desktop and then watermark do not touch and choose this one place now we need to make it smaller of course hold the shift and the alt key or if you're using Mac that would be shift and option and then make it smaller this way you're making it smaller from the center if you think this is right stop okay I think this is right hit enter now instead of moving it to the corner you need to use the align tools why because we don't want the action to be based on pixels because if it's based on pixels for every image it will go haywire it will go anywhere right because every image has a different size even if we are restricting the width to 2048 it's gonna have different aspect ratios and it's gonna mess up so we're gonna use the align tools so press controller command a this selects all and according to this we're gonna align it and make sure the move tool is selected and then using the align tool let's align it to the bottom and align it to the left now you can align it to the bottom you can align it to the center wherever you want your watermark to be at now once you have aligned it press controller command D now using the arrow keys you have to adjust the position so use the arrow keys up two three four five and remember the number of times you are pressing the button I pressed it five times six seven eight nine ten and press the same right arrow key uh, 10 times if it was 10 times for you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and zoom in and let's see whether that looks right and proportional uh, yeah that looks right and let's stop the action that's pretty much good now let's test the action let's delete it and now test the watermark action there we go it does it right but let's test the action on a landscape photo okay by the way landscape means horizontal and portrait means vertical so this is landscape image and this is portrait image guys when it comes to orientation portrait doesn't mean this or landscape doesn't mean landscape it just means that the image is horizontal or vertical vertical is portrait horizontal is landscape so in this let's try the watermark action it works pretty well but it's much bigger why because the orientation has just changed even though it's 2048 it's smaller here but when you move to this it looks bigger it's actually not bigger but it looks bigger because it's a landscape image so for this we're gonna create another action so let's go ahead and delete this let's name this action watermark portrait so double click on it and let's add portrait to it now let's create one more action so click on this and name it watermark landscape and hit record button now for this do the same thing go to file and then place embedded and the transparent logo place it and then make it smaller just like this this looks great hit enter controller command a and then using the align tools align it down and to the left you can also place it to the right depending upon what your style is press controller command D and then the arrow keys one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay that looks great and once you're satisfied stop now let's test the action it should work just fine let's close it collapse it and play it it works fine let's delete it now so let's create one more action for Photoshop to automatically determine which action to use okay so let's create one more action and let's name it watermark master okay set Facebook everything is fine let's record it okay and inside that action you can insert a conditional now what is a conditional conditional tells Photoshop if this happens play this action if that happens play that action make sense let me make it sense for you click on that and choose insert conditional if current document is a landscape now this is the fun there's a lot of properties from which you can choose from okay you can play with this later but for this example for this demonstration if the current document is landscape then play the action watermark landscape if it's portrait else play it portrait okay if it's not landscape 
Of course, then it's the portrait, if else, play watermark portrait. Which means, if the document is landscape, Photoshop will automatically play the watermark landscape action. It will automatically play watermark portrait action. How cool is that? Well, click OK and stop the action. Now let's go ahead and test both of the actions. So if you choose watermark master and play it, it will automatically choose watermark landscape for this image. And let's test this on this one. Works awesome. Now it's time for us to create a master action which resizes the image and inserts the watermark. Okay, so create a master action. To create a master action, just create a new action and let's name it master. Since these images are already resized, we need to use another image for creating that action. So let's open up another image. So let's open up some other photo. Let's open up this one. There we go. And open up right here. Just paste it. Okay. Now let's create another action. Just play, click on this button and then name it master Facebook. And this is the action that we're going to use when we batch process images. Okay, master Facebook and inside of the set Facebook, hit record. And inside of this, all you have to do, just click on resize and play it. Okay, so see, the action has recorded play action resize. Okay, and then click on watermark master, play it. Okay, done. That's the master Facebook action. Stop. Now here's the tip, if you want to process an individual image, just play the master Facebook and you're good to go. For example, let's test the master Facebook on some random images. So let's open up some random image. Let's open up this one. Okay, this one right here and open it up in Photoshop. There we go. It's opening up and then all we have to do master Facebook. Let's play it. It works awesome. Let's zoom in. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Now it's time for us to understand how to batch process all of our photos from a folder. So we have a folder here called photos and it has five photos and we're going to test it on these five. So all we have to do very simple, go to Photoshop and then open up the image processor. So go to file scripts and then image processor. Now inside of image processor, it has every step marked. So first of all, go step by step. So first of all, select the images to process. You can choose the open images or you can select the folder. So we're going to select the folder, click on that. And on the desktop, we have the folder called photos. So we're going to select photos and click OK. Now we have to select where to save those files. So here on step two, we have select location to save processed images. So select the folder and we can create a new folder on desktop by clicking on make new folder and name it Facebook uploads and just click on that Facebook uploads and click OK. So it's saving on desktop Facebook uploads. That's fine. File type, you can save it as a JPEG, TIFF, PSD, but for Facebook, of course, click on JPEG. Okay, convert profile to sRGB. Make sure you have checked that. Why? Because Facebook supports sRGB. If you upload it on Prophoto RGB or Adobe RGB, colors might change. So make sure you check convert profile to sRGB and quality. The maximum is 12 and the minimum is zero. So you can choose eight. Eight works pretty fine for me, but you can also choose 12 if you want, if you want to be assured that your image, it's going to be of the highest quality possible, but I don't see a difference. I'm going to choose eight and then fourth is the most important one. Here's where you play the action. Now, when you look at fourth, it has preferences. Make sure you check run action and you select the set Facebook and the action master Facebook. Copyright info, you don't want it. You want to put it, you can and include ICC profile. Make sure that is checked and click run and it will do everything automatically. Just watch. If I click run, just let's do it. It will open up every image one by one. It just didn't click it. Let's click it again. Okay. It will open up every image one by one and play the action and save it. Okay. So it's doing the work right now. It has done all the work, I guess. Let's just test it. Okay. So let's minimize Photoshop and open up that folder. Facebook uploads. It has made that folder. Open that up. See JPEG folder inside of it. Every image is processed. Let's check. Have a look. Logo. Everything is all right. Let's see the next image. Yep. Awesome. 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 Done. That looks pretty good, right? So that's how you batch process all of your photos for Facebook or any social media for that matter. Just remember, first of all, we're going to figure out the best resolution 
for which to upload and so that the website shows the highest possible quality. And what's the best source to figure that out? Well, that's the website itself. For Facebook, it's Facebook. For Instagram, that's Instagram. For Twitter, it's Twitter. So find out what the website says. Find out the help centers and ask the questions, okay? And then create an action for the same. Create an action for resizing your photo to that particular resolution. After you do that, create an action for the watermark and this is going to be different for different orientation whether that's portrait or landscape and then create a master action for whether to choose the portrait action or the landscape action and after that create a master action for everything for resizing and then adding that watermark and that's pretty much it and then use the image processor to apply that action to all of your photos and you're good to go hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for making this episode possible and making every other episode possible free for everybody forever thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating